Hey, Coach, if you don't mind starting us off, uh, a little bit of what you and the staff saw from our USC game last weekend and then what you're looking forward to in the senior night game against Oregon State this week. Yeah, it was uh, late getting back, but uh, yesterday I thought we had a good session with the guys as far as reviewing the film. And, you know, there were some mistakes. Some of it they caused, but some of it, you know, was um, our own doing. And uh, so a lot of work to get done with correcting that, particularly stuff from the first half. And then, you know, getting ready for an Oregon State team that's clearly better than their record, has been playing really good football in the last several weeks. So I thought our guys um, bounced back pretty well mentally. They understand what a big game this is going to be for our seniors uh, this coming weekend, our last home game. So uh, we want to, you know, put on a good performance. What were you most disappointed with, and what were you most impressed by in, in the game side of the you game? Know, probably, you know, the disappointing part is always when um, you know there's a few things we could have done better in the first half or throughout the game, execution-wise, and you know, play calling-wise, and you know, there's a lot of stuff you want to take back, but. Uh, you know, I think every game is going to be a learning experience, certainly, and especially for our young guys. But I was pleased that you know, I didn't know if the energy was really there. You know, and I don't look around and back behind me on the sideline some. But in the second half, when we got some momentum, I thought the guys kind of got re-energized and started believing and getting some confidence. And unfortunately, you know, in the last uh, few minutes of the fourth quarter, we didn't get a stop or couldn't execute uh, offensively to, to pull out the win. But I think, again, we'll learn from it. I think our guys understand that's a really talented team that played really hard, but we also uh, can play better ourselves. What are you hoping Khalil took away from some of the coverages that he saw in the passing game? Yeah, the, I don't Yeah, I don't even think the coverage is um, – Confuse as much, and Khalil's a competitor, and and sometimes you gotta let the game come to you. And when you're a dynamic athlete like he is, sometimes you just want to kind of take charge and dictate to the game. But a lot of times you gotta let the game come to you and kind of take what they give you and be patient a little bit. And you know that's not his nature. He's a really exciting player, um, but I think in a particularly in the third quarter, as a third quarter and the early part of the fourth quarter. He was just letting the game come to him, so to speak, and, and uh, making good decisions. And I said, he's a young guy. He's only had a few starts, and, and he'll learn from it. Does it make you optimistic that he was able to calm down and, and you know, get on the right track in the second half? Yeah, and, and even in the, in the first half when things were happening, and he was still in tune to the game and aware of what was going on. It was just it was a collective effort all the way across the board. But, uh, you know, it's uh, – you know, we, you know, that's where it's a good lesson. And I think he'll, you know, I said he was still into the game even when we weren't playing well. And he's conscien conscientious enough to, to get better from it. You had 26 carries in that game. How many carries is too many? Uh, you know, you don't, I think the, the carries, uh, you always worry about workload uh, for uh, maybe quarterbacks, you know, as far as a pounding. But if it depends on where he's, how he's getting tackled, who he's getting tackled by. And, you know, Khalil's got enough skill set to, to get down or get to the second level. Um, but I didn't think it was, I didn't even know he had that many. But I don't, you know, whatever it takes to win, he, he's not going to complain about carrying the ball. And there was a couple of times he probably could have handed it off. But, you know, they did a good job. They did a good job with, with um, some of their athleticism on the, on the perimeter and, and um, you know, forcing, a, you know, the quarterback to kind of make a decision quicker than he wanted. How concerned are you about the state of the punting unit? Because the field position was an issue in that, in that game. Well, the, the first punt certainly was a, just poorly executed all the way around. And, you know, that we didn't block it well, but it, we could have got it off if it wasn't uh, uh, fumbled around a little bit. Uh, but our punting unit's been, been a little bit um, shaky all year, I guess, at, at times. And it, sometimes it's been, been good. But, you know, we work really hard. That's probably the one special team unit you work the hardest at. And, you know, we'll see who punts the best in practice this week, determine who's the, who's the guy going to go for it. Phil becomes the first quarterback in Pac-12 history to rush for over 1,000 yards. He did it in only five games. Uh, obviously, this is a question that you're going to be asked. Do you think he should be in contention for the Heisman? Oh, that's – I mean, I think there's other guys that have probably done it for years and are having terrific years that will be up there. I don't worry about that. I think it's – the thing you mentioned of it is nice for the young men and the family and for the program, but – I think that's the furthest thing from our mind and probably the furthest thing from his mind. I think there's, you know, you look at guys like Baker Mayfield and some guys that are having phenomenal years with top ranked teams and have done it for several years in their career, they're going to, and rightfully so, going to 
going to be that part of it. But that's that's a great individual award, and everybody wants to talk about it. But I don't think the the guys on most guys, even the guys that are in contention for it, worry about that nearly as much as winning games. How much different has Oregon State looked since the coaching change? You know, they've played with a lot of new energy. You know, probably you know uh, being more wide open, and trick plays, and other things that they do. They're playing hard. You know, they've lost a couple, lost in Stanford in the last second, Colorado in the last minute. And, and so they're playing with a lot of confidence, even though they hadn't won. Uh, they're playing a lot of confidence against some good teams. And our guys will see that. It's, you know, a lot of the same guys we had problems with last year and a big physical team that plays really hard. And, and uh, we got to go in there with confidence, but we got to prepare with confidence. That's going to be the big key for us. Rich, when you're uh, watching the film, maybe the next year or whatever, you, you have USC on the brink. Is there a point when you're seeing the film that you kind of say, hey, we have these guys uh, in review. Uh, we have these guys in the brink with freshmen and a, a lot of young dudes, and we had a chance. Do you kind of kind of have an emotional? I don't, you know, kind of when I watch the film, I don't look that as much as, as you know, when you're looking at, at your seal, but I'm mean, you're normally looking, okay, what, what didn't we do as well execution-wise? What, you know, what, what did we fail to do as coaches or players to, to win that particular play? And as you know, we know that they got talented guys. And sometimes you look at it like, well, they, this, this guy's just really good. You know, Ronald Jones just outran the angle, or uh, their their safety just did a great job of covering, and or, or whatever the case may be. So you take that in consideration, looking at it, man, that defensive end played both the dive and the quarterback. You know, pretty good. You know, that you know that's uh, a pretty talented move by him. So you do, I do recognize that. But as far as the you know, I think our young guys are getting confidence. You know, it's like Khalil. Sometimes you forget he's only been starting a few games. He's 19 years old and he's still learning. And he's gonna. There's gonna be some moments, but uh, I like what we're at. But I also know that we got some things to fix too. We talked. We talked a couple weeks ago about uh, the concern of freshmen hitting the wall. You, you figured that they're getting close to that point, or yeah, I, I'm trying to be mindful of that of watching their energy in practice, watching you know the energy during the games. You know, the late, you know, I could, everybody complains about the late night game, but especially this time of year when you're getting back, like we did three or four in the morning. And, uh, you know, who knows what it's going to be. I know this this is probably the latest kickoff in college football again this weekend. We had not had a day game yet this year. Has had very few in the last several years. And we could complain about it, but I do think it's um, a little bit at some point, okay, Arizona has not played one single day game this year. Can we not try to? Get, do what we can to put them in the afternoon slot. The TV was still dictated, but I think you got to ask the question. And we have to be mindful as a staff. Okay, our, where are our guys at energy-wise? Where are our guys at, um, you know, health-wise? And, and uh, you know, you want to have them fresh for the game. So our practices are a little bit shorter, but you still got to get prepared. How much then do you look? I mean, obviously, with the late kick, though, this is, I believe, the third straight week you've been on ESPN. Does that kind of have to do with the fact that you're getting that particular exposure there? Well, sure. I mean, that's the whole argument. But the exposure is nice. But you know, I'm also mindful. You want to be mindful of your fans. I mean, is it? Uh, I'm sure our folks would rather have us an earlier kickoff this time of year, particularly maybe a six o'clock game, because you know you got a reasonable hour to when it's over to get home, and uh, you don't have to wait around as long. So. I mean, from a fan standpoint, I would think a little earlier than that was is more enjoyable. So I, I got to be mindful of that too. And that's, to me, you know, the, the exposure is nice in recruiting, but I would rather, you know, for for our sake, coaches and maybe players, I don't know, but certainly for the fans, I would rather. I'm sure what the fans' wishes would be, would be something that's. Uh, I would like, you know, if it was up to me, I would like to consider them, but it's not up to me. You, you expect something from your end. Administration to kind of look into this. Oh, I think so. I think all the ads in the league are going to talk about it. Like I said, it's it's the TV contracts are what they are, um, but we also want to. You know, it's harder to have fans come to the game because everything's on TV. It's harder when they're they're late night games, and and you want to do what you can for it to be attractive for your fan base. And I don't know if that's uh, a reason throughout the country why there's not as many sellouts or maybe the attendance has gone down a little bit, but. It probably has played some factor in it for sure. Was, was the flow of that game frustrating, especially in like the third quarter? Third quarter, yeah. The, the, the length of the reviews, you know, that, okay. And, and player safety is important, and you want to look at targeting. And it's such a, a critical call because not only is a penalty assessed, but you're talking about getting a guy out of the game and maybe for the next game of the second half. It's just, 
I still think you need to, to look at look at the reviews quicker, and then if it's a targeting thing without malicious intent or whatever you want to call it, then let's not throw the guy out of the game. And not, you know, they did the right thing by taking them off in the targeting because they weren't clearly not targeting. But the the long reviews I think is frustrating for everybody, whether you're there watching it, coaching the playing, or or sitting at home watching it. You know, nobody wants to watch a, a replay booth or. A coach is standing there scratching her head for three minutes. You know, you know what's going on. So it's nuts. What was your take on Khalil's emotions after the game? Did it just hurt so much for him to lose that the emotions came out? Oh, I don't know. I didn't see his emotions after the game. You know, it's. I'm sure that was a. They're all important, but you know, he was playing back home with a lot of friends and family there against a lot of people he knew. Um, he's a competitive guy. I, you know, I liked his demeanor throughout the game and. Um, you know, yesterday he was ready to bounce back and get ready for the next one. I think a lot of us in here thought that with JJ's elusiveness in the open field that he might be more involved as a receiver this year. Why haven't we seen him? I mean, that touchdown catch was only his eighth catch of the year. Why haven't we maybe seen him more involved in the passing game? Oh, he's, he's been involved. He's been involved in pretty good protection, too. You know, you know there's, they, they cover him. Um, but, you know, we've, you know, we, our receivers have done a good job. You know, JJ's, Pretty dynamic in the backfield. We'll keep him there. How do you like how uh, Scotty Young did in his first game back? Did okay. I think there's some rust involved there. I think he's still, you know, a freshman that's that's uh, learning, and uh, he's a he's a really good competitor too. And, and I don't think he was 100% um, as far as back mentally and physic mentally particularly because he's you know he just come off the injury, but you know he's going to be okay. Nick as well, just kind of ease him back. Yeah, yeah. Nick is, you know, we thought we could use him a little bit, and he did. But I think he'll every week. This this week, he should be really ready to go. Devon Cooper saw more playing time than he had recently. Is he a guy that you has earned some playing time? And he has. You know, he's he's a pretty dynamic guy. And uh, Coach H got him in the game a, f a few times. I don't think he had any catches or maybe even balls thrown his way, but. Going forward, we're gonna we need to pop and play more wide outs. It's been hard for us to take Tony Ellison and, and Shun Brown out of the game. Those are two really really good slots. But you know, Devon is, is a guy that can help us and play a little bit more. Tyrell Johnson is gonna play even more. He's been playing pretty solidly, but um, we'll have to get more guys in the game. It's already senior night. Does the season feel like it's kind of flown by a little, especially after some of the struggles last year? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's, it's been a fun team to coach ever since camp started. You know, it, uh, I've said this many times, they've seemed really focused since the first practice we've had. It's been whatever it's been, a 12, 13-week stretch. You know, the, the, the guys' are, energy was good last night for a long, late trip coming back. But I'll have to, you know, like I said, these are, we got one at home, which is a big emotional night Saturday night, and then two on the road left. And, um, We've got to be ready to go. When they scored to go up 42-35, you guys came out that first play and, and threw the pass. It looked like there might have been a miscommunication on the route with Tony. What, what happened there? No, it was just, um, you know, it, didn't, it wasn't the right decision. Uh, so Tony ran the right route. And they had, you know, a little, little coverage here. Just guy trying to make a play. You know, just sometimes, like I said, you got to be patient let the game come to you. Not the right decision by Khalil or not the right decision uh, by No, we're, we're not the right to what? By Tate or not the right decision to pass there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else here for Coach? All righty. Okay. Thank you, guys.